ready. So this is a combination of a mobile app that runs on an Android device. You can run it on a smartphone or you can run it on a, on a tablet. And it's tied to a cloud database that basically collects all the data across your tires, across your fleet, and then does the analytics for you. And here's an example of, of four, four tires, four mm -hmm. tire tags that would be applied on a tire like this. So here's, a, here's an example of one of those tags on a tire. So each one of your tires would have one of these tags. Those tags would be registered to that type of tire and that vehicle. So here we'll start a vehicle inspection. I'll put in an asset number of the, of the vehicle. Here's my four-wheel van. I will start with uh, entering entering the current mileage of the vehicle. And now I can start inspection. And I'll start the inspection by scanning one of the tire tags. So that pulls up the tire in position one. I will enter the pressure, which I could enter automatically mm -hmm. just by uh, measuring measuring the valve. I don't have a tire with a rim, so I'll enter this manually. 52. Then I need to take uh, several readings of the tread depth, mm -hmm. and you can configure that. You can you can decide how much readings along the tire you require a technician to do. That's so So you can already see the three readings there, and I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, yeah. but there was a there was an audio uh, confirmation for every one of those one of those readings. So now I'm done with this tire. As you can see, there's a green dot on the tire, which means the tire's done. And I go to the back of the vehicle. I scan the next tire, this is the tire in position four, and I can I repeat the same process. In addition to that. You can go to a section here where you can record any visual damage on the tire. So if I see a chunk missing out of the tire, I would start a Nail new damage the, uh, report. Right steer. It would let me take a picture and it would ask me to put in some comments. And when I go into the dashboard, I'll show you what it looks like because I already recorded some damage of, of the tire before. So after I complete the entire vehicle, I just save it, it uploads to the dashboard, and the inspection's done. You have a record of the vehicle, the mileage, and you have a verification that the technician has actually scanned and inspected every single tire. They didn't walk up to one side of the vehicle and faked all the other four tires or didn't do any inspection at all. The application has some checks built in, like it's not going to let you proceed if you put in lower mileage than the last inspection. Mm -hmm. It's also going to check uh, uh, things like previous readings of that same tire. So if all of a sudden tires got deeper, deeper uh, tread depth, it's also going to think, well, well, wait a minute, this is yeah. this is impossible. Some something's not done right. So there are already some checks built into it that it's hard to do a sloppy job of the inspection. So you were talking about cost analysis over there, somewhat as in uh, you know, pay by mile and so yeah. forth. And I enter a price point in this, and then you can tell me if I've already inputted the mileage that's into that, right? You can basically calculate what my cost per mile is. Absolutely. So it we does know, do that. We now we can now go into the dashboard. So the fleet owner or the, the service manager would have full access uh, to this dashboard. Because we currently use something very similar today, mm -hmm. right? As our reps are out in the field and sure. so forth. But we don't have necessarily the auto function out the cost per mile and allowing the software sure. to compute that information, right? So well, here, it's all averages of averages. Yeah. So here, I'll, I'll flip it uh, to the other view because it's a little bit more friendly from this perspective. So here, I'll go into my vehicle reviews. Ideally, you want all of these to be green. Right, this is my fleet of three vehicles that I have set up. You could have hundreds mm -hmm. of vehicles. 
but it's already telling me I have some issues with tire wear because I've done some uh, readings where the tire was basically flat. You have some issues with, uh, it's reporting you have some issues with tire pressures because I've recorded tire pressures that were either too high or way too low from the recommended uh, reading. And then there's some other issues of uh, tread depth, uh, mating tires on two vehicles, tires that, uh, because of the mileage I was entering, mm -hmm. still show up in the same location and they should have been probably rotated uh, th thousands of miles earlier. Yeah. I can go, up, here I can see this Ford van, mm -hmm. everything's okay there, but these two are red, so I can go into this vehicle and review the inspection, the inspection data. So here is, for example, the last inspection for each one of the tires. I was telling you I recorded a damage or one of the earlier inspections, so this is already recorded here. It was a puncture and I uploaded a picture. Just give it a second, the internet's not too fast here. But it will, it will download the picture that I, I took. So if you're sitting in the office, you go, oh, I know exactly what's, what's going on. There's a lot of reports built into, into the standard reports, but it's also configurable to configure your own reports or build new reports. For example, we were talking about costs. So if it takes into account all the information that you pre-configured it with, mm -hmm. and then it does some cost calculations, oh, you can select a branch. So you if you have an operation with multiple branches, you can set up each branch as an individual entity in the software. So you don't have to just look at the entire picture of your fleet. You can look at individual branches of your fleet. And then I can start generating some, some reports. So here, based on the information that was put in and the different inspections yeah, all over that, the place that, right that now, we've put yeah. in here, it starts telling you what your cost per per kilometer may be on ah, okay. uh, on, on your very uh, interesting on your tires or on your on your fleet. And that's per vehicle. Can it do it even across the board for my entire fleet? One calculation or only per vehicle? It can do it yeah, however you want. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, the, all the data is behind yeah. the system. It's just a matter of how you spin the data. So per vehicle, per location, per fleet, per tire, per tire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I will show you. Just how you decide to collect it. Manage tires. Does this work with other systems, like a other fleet management systems? So, so look uh, here. We have configured all different brands and types of tires that the fleet may approve, may have approved for for using or purchasing oh, for yeah. their vehicles, right? So I can tell on this van, I have Hankook tires, this type, or on this truck, I have Bridgestone tires of this type. Or different retreads or whatnot, exactly. right, as well. So exactly. you, could, and you could find what works best for the, you. The, the system yeah. then starts tracking it, and because you have done all the data of how many kilometers or how many miles they have traveled, what, what the either actual or recommended parameters like pressure or tread depth are for those. All this data is available in the background to start spinning and analyzing in any way. Anyway. Here's my next question. 